Today, I would like to share with you the solution of using a deformer with a fabric in C4D. In the object outline panel of the software, press Shift plus C to bring up the search panel. Input segment to call up capsule segment tool. Set the length of the line segment and realize the midpoint index of the view. Call up the broken spline modifier and assign to the segment level. Select segment and lock to adjust the index display of the deformer in the view. By adjusting the parameters of the deformer, you can see the change of the index. I just want to show the function of C4D. I will turn it off now. Press Alt to add extrusion tool with line segment selected. It seems that some line segments are not squeezed. Show the view wireframe to see what caused it. Oh, why did the sudden extrusion not work? Unlock the parameters panel, otherwise no object parameters will be updated. Since the default is the automatic extrusion direction, an identification error can occur, and it can be manually changed to the Z-axis. Modify the number of extrusion subdivisions and segments to prepare for deformation. Now after squeezing the Z-axis, the whole sheet is not centered in the world. Fortunately, C4D has access tools to help us deal with this thorny problem. Select the extrusion object and press the Alt key to add the connection object. The solder point selection is cancelled to add other deformers at this level. Adjust the parameters of the bending deformer to rotate. Set the strength and angle of the bending deformer. Change the mode from restricted to unlimited and finally switch the view and move the position of the deformer in the Z-axis. Then adjust the strength parameters, bend the surface into a cylinder, but there must be gaps. There is a little gap left and the input parameters can only be tested and modified a little bit. At this point, the core content of the case is completed. Turn on view visibility of the bending deformer. Now deal with these problems that are not squeezed correctly. Seems to be due to the randomness of the split spline modifier. After a simple investigation, the problem was solved and we continued to make. Select the bending deformer and add the cube domain in the domain parameter column. Adjust the size and attenuation range of the cube field. Switch to the remapping bar and check reverse. Adjust the duration of the timeline in seconds. Set the z-axis size of the cube field and record keyframe animations. At 125 frames, the cube field covers the entire cylinder. The slice of the cylinder becomes a sheet state. The position may be accidentally moved in front, so you need to return the y-axis position to zero. Finally, fine-tune the attenuation range value. Play the timeline to see the general animation effect. Adjust the order and position of the object levels and add a muscle smooth deformer. Now the sleek shapeshifter affects all the points. Use the cube field made earlier to add to the field as the scope of influence. The current scope is reversed and reverse processing needs to be added. The wireframe shows that the number of cuts seems to be too large and the number of cuts needs to be reduced. Before doing the fabric simulation, you need to play it again to check and confirm. Select the connection object to add a vertex map label as a trigger for the fabric. Load the cube field into the vertex map label again. 
Yellow is active, so it needs to be reversed. Create a blank object and rename it. And turn off view and render visibility. Create an associated object when selecting a connection object. And rename the associated object and add vertex map labels. Create a group field to pass vertex maps of connected objects. And add the group field to the newly created vertex map. Play timeline to ensure that vertex map passes are correct. Select instance object to add fabric simulation label. Blend animation bar for fabric labels enable restrictions and specify vertex maps. Play timeline to observe the simulation effect. The simulation starts with these very strange animations because of the wrong thickness parameters of the fabric. Continue to adjust parameters such as fabric thickness, target length, and fabric bending. Now the fabric falls down and the gravity setting of the project is canceled. CTRL plus D change the gravity parameter to O. It seems to soft now. Adjust the parameters to keep the length. Create a wind force that blows down the y-axis. Adjusting the angle parameters of the force field. Let's try adding a turbulence force field and see what happens. Finally, unify the objects just created and organize the hierarchical objects. The field of the force field also needs to add a cube field, otherwise the area that has not been triggered will also be affected. Hide the view display of the force field and play the timeline to watch the effect. While playing, the force field parameters can be adjusted to observe the effect in real time. Turn off wireframes for views. Next, the fabric is colored. Select instance object to add fracture object. Modify the schema to separate fragments. Then add simple effects. Cancel impact location. Field parameter bar. Load the cube field created earlier. Click on color remap and change to gradual change. The color is now black and white. You can modify it according to your needs. I will update the follow-up content on Patreon. If you need to learn more in-depth content, remember to subscribe to my channel. Looking forward to sharing more practical, interesting and fun C4D content with you next time.